welcome to our channel great this is your ashkin so this video is about interesting fun games for children with slow learning problems so here uh, in this video we're going to focus some of the interesting activities some you might be knowing already and some might be new to you okay so here it is more related to uh, learning activity so we might have just considered it as a game so i'm just going to tell you how it can be combined in teaching and learning process so let's look into those interesting fun games first one is hopscotch i think i have already mentioned in my previous video that hopscotch is one of the traditional game that is having very much benefits for child's growth and development okay so yes it is also playing a very important role in teaching the children the numbers concept or alphabet uh, the you no know, alphabets or reading ideas okay so if you see here you can actually uh, you know give the numbers on that uh, hopscotch that squares and the child can jump from one square to other square by just giving out you no know, the reading out the numbers aloud also you can try uh, with multiple multiplication table it's actually a great way to move and learn multiplication table so you now for example you can write the multiples of 5 that can be written on the boxes on the floor and the child has to hop sequentially into the box like for example 5 10 15 20 and in the same way you can try out with different multiples of numbers and that can be worked out and the second activity is body clock so in my previous video i did mention about a clock that can be made at home with the paper plates or any other chart papers and all that so this is something much more interesting and it will be involving you physically no you have to be involved from top to toe like no head to toe in these activity which is body clock so here what happens is you have to draw a big clock on the ground okay and you can uh, have a bowl with some sheets of uh, timings like for example 3 o'clock 5 o'clock 5:40 6:40 something like that can be written with a uh, minute hands and hour hands and the child has to pick one from the bowl and the child has to form himself or herself has hour and minute hands so maybe you can do it in pairs so maybe one can do the hour hand another one can do a minute hand and when the teacher says the time or when the parent says the time the child is using or like no when they pick it and read up okay they read that this is 3 o'clock then they just go and then make it as a 3 o'clock when they say 4 o'clock they make it as 4 o'clock so it is like more involving their body movements and there is a pairing that is happening between the kids as well so that's another interesting activity for teaching time concept for kids and the next one is math raises so what is math raises so like you can actually uh, place a pile of like uh, small balls or pebbles on the ground okay and you can actually give some kind of uh, mental arithmetic problems like for example what is 2 plus 2 and the child has to know 4 and he or she should uh, either bring that correct number or you no know, whatever on the chart it is being given or there is a stone or pebbles or the balls if the number is written four the child has to correctly bring it to the teacher or else you can also draw some circles on the ground and when you just give a uh, mental arithmetic problem like 2 plus 2 the child has to run and stand on the circle where the number 4 is written so this is something uh, would make them more quicker in getting responses because there is like a kind of tight competition is also been involved in finding out the right ball the answer is in and they have to pick the right answer among the given choices and either they can bring it to the teacher or the parent or you can draw it on the floor and the child can stand on that particular box or on the circle so whoever is giving the correct answer would be the winner of that particular race so that is a math race again and then you also have ball games so ball games is something related to the passing balls and other games that we play so here what happens is you can make the ask the children to sit in a circle or stand in a circle okay and uh, the parent or the teacher can say the first two pattern of numbers so like for example 2 4 6 and then she has to throw the ball to a child okay so the child will be saying the first pattern like for example 2 4 is somewhere we stop the child will be saying 
and he or she can throw that ball to anyone in the circle and whoever is getting that ball has to continue that pattern so for example there is a child a who receives the ball and says six and he throws the ball to child d the child has to the d the child d has to say eight and then if the child d is throwing the ball to g the g will be continuing the pattern as 10 so that's how it has been done so this is again uh, you can do it with multiple patterns so it can be odd numbers even numbers or multiples of numbers and if the child says the wrong number of the pattern then they are out of the game okay so the game continues till the last one gets out or something like that so this is something which would be very interesting for kids because there is a ball activity that has been involved when they play it out okay and then other activity is connecting dots it is like i would say it is not a game as such but it is more of an activity uh, i think most of us would have tried it at home where the child can connect the dots and make a picture so usually you get to see so many dots and they just have to connect the picture so you can actually understand the level of the child and give the numbers according to it so making the entire number of tracing number one with the dots would also be helpful or you can uh, you know connect dots and getting a picture out of it will make it more interesting so if the child knows a concept till 10 give a picture till 10 if the child is aware of concept till 10 20 then give accordingly so that the child will, should be able to do it independently you know the sequencing should be happening independently and the child is able to complete the picture and enjoy the essence of his achievement or his complete process of activity okay so i hope these activities would have been useful for you thanks for watching this video